In this video, I will demonstrate how to download and use the championship files. The first thing we need to go do is go to the free Lawn Bowls software website, which we do here. Uh, we then go to championship files. Um, for the purpose of this demonstration, I will um, assume we are having a singles um, championship with less than eight starters so I'll be downloading that file but obviously you can see from here there's um, every combination you're likely to need of singles, pairs, triples and fours so we'll go into singles and we do a right click and left click uh, save link as I'm going to put it onto the desktop to make it easy click on save um, now, as the file is saving um, onto your computer, it will also open on your desktop at the same time as it's done here. However, we don't want to use this file. We, we need to open the file from the desktop before we start using it. So we close this and click on Enabling, Editing and close it, don't save. Uh, now we go to our desktop and open the file that we have just downloaded which is here. Okay, now as you can see there's some um, notes at the beginning of the file. Um, to use the file we click on entries and you just have to fill in the names, in this case it's a singles event so we only have one column I've already made up some names to save the time of um, writing them out. So there we go. Now after you've filled in your names in here, you click on this box. Um, as it says, after you've entered all your names, click on here to conduct the draw, which we'll do. And you can see uh, that the draw has been done. The names have been put in place just to prove that it is a, a draw and the names weren't just put there. Uh, automatically uh, as we type them here you can see all these names are in alphabetical order Adams, Browns, Campbell, Dixon, Edwards and Finch however when you come over here they're not in that order anymore so obviously the draw has taken place um, now that's obviously um, ready to be printed out and put up on the wall in the club uh, for your members as the games are played um, you just put the score in the box there and it automatically moves the winner over into the next round. So let's say uh, Colin Campbell got 14 against, uh, yeah, got 14 against Dixon's 12. Um, you can see that's moved Campbell over. Uh, Adams, let's say he got 6 and Edwards have got 10. So that's ready to go up on the wall for the second round games. Now, uh, down the bottom here we've got, that's um, the chart sheet that we're on here, we've got the quarterfinals sheet um, has automatically put the names of the games, the names of the players for the first game in for you, which were Campbell, Dixon, Adams and Edwards, quarterfinals, okay. Uh, that could have been put up on the wall, obviously when it's only singles you've only got a few games, it's, it doesn't really matter, but if you've got... A 32 draw with with um, the fours or something well it it's, looks pretty good on the wall uh, then you go to the semi-finals well as the names um, are entered if we go back here you can see the names have been pushed over uh, to the next round we've got Campbell Edwards Finch and Brown we go to semi-finals so Brown uh, that's happened automatically that can be put up on the wall uh, we go to the final as you can see there's nothing in there at the moment when we come back to the chart, we fill in uh, the scores here. So Campbell got 10, Edwards got 12, so 6, and 14. I mean, I know in, in singles it's, you know, 31, first of 31 and that sort of thing, but we're only doing this for demonstration purposes, of course. So now in the final we've got Edwards and Brown playing, and if you look at this sheet, you'll see that Edwards and Brown have come up. To, to put this sheet up on the wall if you want to, to say what games are on. Uh, now, that's basically it, unless you want to use the card scorecard printing facility that comes with uh, this file. Um, there are notes about it 
up here, a few notes about it up here, plus I will just demonstrate how to use it. So we come on here. Now you can see the names of the people uh, who, uh, who are involved in this championship have automatically been put uh, in this spot down here, which is the um, uh, database that we ne need to work from. Now we'll just go back to the first game. We've got Campbell versus Dixon. So let's say we were going to do the cards for the first game. We come up here and we double left click in here and it changes to a yellow uh, box with a little arrow at the end and uh, we had Campbell was playing Dixon uh, I think it was Colin Campbell so we type C for Colin and you can see his name has already jumped in to the spot playing against um, Dixon it's Dave Dixon so we start to write Dave and the uh, Dave's already popped in. Right in the second game, we had Adams against Edwards. We go to the teams, double left click. Uh, Adams was um, Adam. Start typing Adam, there you go, his name's in. Adams against, um, I should have remembered, Adams against Edwards. And start typing Edwards. Um, Ed Edwards it was actually so it yeah, pops in so that's the, your cards from the first round obviously you fill this information up here your club name your date uh, details of the event um, put in your rink numbers here let's say he's, they're bowling on rink four and rink six okay now we move to the cards tab which is the next one along as you remember we've got Colin Campbell playing Dave Dixon we go to the cards tab Tab. We've got Colin Campbell playing Dave Dixon on rink four. This information would have been uh, transferred if you'd changed it on the, over here. Um, let's say um, A club. Let's say the first of the first uh, 2000. All right. You come over here onto the cards tab. You can see it's come across A club. Uh, date. First of the first two thousand. Now um, we print this card. There'll be two cards in, in the first round in this case, so we'd print pages one to two. I'll just show you how this looks. We print uh, Ron Campbell and Dixon and Adams and Edwards. Now to print the two two cards, we come over here and we go pages one to two. Otherwise, if you just click print, you'll click uh, print 29 cards. As you can see down the bottom here, you've got 29. It'll be one to 29, but by putting in one to two, you'll only print the first two cards, which are the ones you want. Um, now, after you've done the front of the card, as you say, we've got cards and we've got cards rear. That one belongs with cards. That's the back of that cards rear is the back of that one and you have cards 2 which is the reverse of cards and on the back of cards 2 we put cards 2 rear. I know it sounds confusing but you know once you have a look at it you'll see it's not. So we've done the front of these cards and we go to cards rear and as you can see uh, this card belongs to Colin Campbell he was on the left Colin Campbell playing Dave Dixon Colin Campbell playing Dave Dixon and they're on rink 4 and there's uh, room to score. Then you come down the second card. It's the same thing. Adams Edwards. Adam Edwards. This belongs to Adam Edwards. Adam. Adam Adams. Um, and that's the first card. Now, if you want to have, as you normally do, uh, two cards for the game, one for each skip. Although in singles, obviously, you'd only have one card because it's it's um you know the marker. It's going to mark the card, but. In any in the second pairs and triples and fours, obviously you have two cards. So we would then print cards two, which is the same names but reversed. So this card belongs to Dixon. Uh, this card belongs to Edwards, and cards two rear um, Dixon Campbell. Dixon Campbell, which is the names reversed. Cards two, cards two rear. Um, as you can see, 
these cards are all pr set up to print on the side. Um, so this would be for a printer where the, the uh, stock of paper is going in on the edge. If, however, your card, your printer has the information, the, the paper going through it for the middle, if it's going to print in the middle, um, you need to go into page setup, which is here, down here, and you need to change the margin. Go into margins and change the margin to, I don't know, I'm only guessing here, say about a four. Oh, that was too much. Page setup, margins, and go back to say 2.6 or something like that. Okay, so now we're getting something like it. So you need to fiddle with that um, until you get, you know, testing with the cards until you get it right. Um, shouldn't take you too long. That's if, if your your printer prints in the middle of the sheet. Um, I think that's probably about it. Uh, as always, my contact information is on the bottom of the um, help help um, tab. My email and phone number. So don't hesitate to get in touch with me uh, if you need more help. I hope this helps.